Hey everybody, it's Timo here. Dark and Darker went out on Steam. Dark and Darker is finally out from being held down hostage in prison from the marketing. Dark and Darker went out and we got a massive surge of players. But unfortunately, well, the game got became fully free to play so that a majority of people would be able to enjoy and experience what the game has to offer. Initially, this game was a $30 edition, but, um, well, hear me out. They come up with a plan that they want to let everyone test this game out. And basically, they advertised this game as a free-to-play, which resulted in a massive review bombing. Luckily, luckily, the reviews are getting back on track and we are about to hit 50% positive. But quite recently, it was mostly negative, which was uh, slightly less than 30% of positive reviews, which is ridiculous because this is such a beautiful freaking game. Now, there's one thing I want to mention. Apparently, apparently people doesn't really want to scroll up and read the literally the first thing there is to say. The free version allows to create one character and play normal mod on all maps, complete tasks, build stash, but hear me out, hear me out. Even though you could do all of this, you can't really use the items that you're gonna bring out because the game lacked out into two mods, a normal and the high roller. Now the high roller will allow you to use everything while normal is mainly to experience the um, combat, to practice and hone your skills and get better at certain mechanics. Also, it will help you out to get a little bit of gold so that you can commit into a high roller. But there is one thing. Well, I feel like developers kind of slipped up once again. And uh, basically, the new patch has recently come, come out. And with the new patch, ah, oh boy, the gear cap for normal mod dungeon has been increased from common to legendary. <laughs> from common to legendary. Could you freaking imagine? But also, yeah, the gear score matchmaking is enabled back again, but also it is enabled for normal mode dungeon, because I would assume people are going to be interested to use the items they were able to collect. But, um, I mean, it's probably not a bad step. Just don't allow people to use Marketplace, because that's going to be... They're just going to bring a massive surge of cheaters. with free-to-play game... Um, is a free access to a game means free access to hackers. I don't want to call them hackers, but yes, that's just what's going to happen. I played normals for quite a bit, and I have already encountered um, running into um, cheaters, but uh, hear me out. Here is the thing. Um, because people are so freaking low skill right now, even the cheats does not help them. Because this game is not just um, like... Uh, you know, that you will be able to win if you just know a little bit of location. This win, this game requires skill and practice and effort. And even though I encountered cheaters, I still was able to stomp on them because, well, cheaters, they're fucking losers. You guys are fucking pathetic. Fucking hackers. No, I'm kidding. But no, I'm not kidding. Actually, fuck you, cheaters, because I'm so fucking sick and tired of dying to shit like that. But anyway, don't get me wrong. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about the new patch that recently came out. Every single day, I come back online every single day. I start my PC. <sighs> I get fucking 3 to 6 hours of a fucking cooldown. Yesterday, I went on at 3 p.m. Because before the 3 p.m., I was making a video. And now, here we go. We have another patch. But it started 11.30. I feel like Iron Mace has a clock when I start my PC. So that when I start my PC, I don't actually get to play the game. So pretty much, these are the things that they fixed. They fixed Crash. They fixed Ignite that doesn't properly... Um, apply to weapons, they fix sound issue when you hit the torn barrier, they fix the frost wiring that sometimes, you know, takes damage without waking up. <laughs> well, that's actually what we've been kind of trying to do, but we still ended up to getting shit on by the frost wiring because the frost wiring is the absolute massive madness. We've been trying to kill this pile of dog shit for two days straight, flying pile of dog shit, but uh, it's way too OP and we get our ass kicked. 
fix an issue where the rope escape would not work properly. Yeah, that's actually beautiful. The number of times I've witnessed people trying to get on the rope, I, it's like a fucking form of comedy. I'm like, oh, hey, brother, I'm gonna take the static. You know, you take the rope. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then once they realize their rope aren't working, they're gonna run directly at you trying to take your, but that said, you're already out. <laughs> and people, you know, who came with the bad intentions, they aren't gonna make it alive because the rope doesn't work. The gear cup to the normal mode has been increased from common to legendary. That's what I already mentioned before, but that came from the review bombing on Steam because people didn't, couldn't use the items they were able to get in the dungeon. And basically, um, this is the form of solution from Iron Maze to kind of... Um, you know, mitigate the damage that was done to people who fucking can't read. And if you can't read, well, of course, you're gonna review bomb this game because this game is a beautiful masterpiece. Personally, this is the only game there is on the market. There is not a single competitor. There is no game that comes nowhere close or stand near nowhere close. You can count, you can name a couple of games, but those are not a game. So yeah, just, uh, you can let them know in comments below. I'm not gonna mention. Um, anyway, let's move on. Normal mode dungeons are now split into two matchmaking pool. The default matchmaking pool is set at a maximum gear score of 25, which means you can go in completely naked with a couple of pots, and basically you're gonna end up in the default matchmaking pool. To most closely match the previous normal game experience where players were restricted to common gear, which is probably not a bad idea, especially if you're gonna allow legendary people to go into normal, so which I think is an absolute ass chicks idea. I don't think this is the case, but uh, if you wanna um, the damage or save like the impact or save the game, what I'm trying to say, you know, from angry people who doesn't know how to fucking read, uh, who who can't even name ten books. Well, <laughs> sorry, that that was just a meme. Like, of course, of course, they're gonna be met, and you should not try to appeal to community who just gonna be met no matter what you do. Basically, Iron Maze did a wonderful thing. They led the game, they led everyone to test what the game has to offer. There is too much making normals, which end the high roll. Normal is the one where you kind of get to experience the um, basic mechanics. Um, but where you get to experience the most fair matchups, where there is no cringe giga gear chats that just stomp everyone, and there is absolutely nothing you could do about that. So, but yeah, I think I think maybe at the end of the day it's not that bad of a deal because we get to test normals and see how far we'd get in normals. <laughs> because you well, um, on the bright side, you don't have to commit hundred gold to get into a normal matchmaking. And currently, I genuinely fucking hate the change that they come up with, which is the um, you know pay to play you gotta pay 100 gold to actually get in the high roller and i hate this it's a horrible change we've been over this i hated it i hope the uh whatever they come up with they come up sooner because i don't want to spend 100 gold each and every time to get into the raid because it's not gonna lie you can actually play normal and you can like you know make just about as much because if you go into the high roller you're gonna make on average around 500 gold if you do everything perfectly because currently the loot drop in high roller is absolute butt chicks and you don't really get anything good out of it updated the gear score for poor and common items to have a lower gear score maybe not a bad idea healing potion and bandages provided by squire now has quantity of two sure high roller dungeon is available as soon as you reach legendary status how do you reach legendary status without buying the game? Trade must be available 72 hours after legendary status is activated. Alright, developers comment. We've been deeply thinking about the recent issues without a free-to-play version and we wanted to lick the new player's butt and appease to newer players um, as a more complete full uh, extraction experience. After careful consideration, we have decided uh, to suck on some balls and remove the item restrictions because apparently the time has come the and we need to leak the new players from toes to heads so that they get to enjoy and experience the game 
the way it was intended. We decided to let people play this game for free, but they decided to review bomb it on Steam. So in order to protect the new users from being completely run over by chats, we decided to utilize a gear-based matchmaking system in the normal mode, which absolutely fucking suck. We still feel that matches where most players start off on a similar footing is extremely fun and unfair. Because there is nothing as fair in this game, because this is not about a fair game, this is about dungeon, this is about betrayal, this is about the gameplay you're gonna come up with, and about different dirty tricks and things you can do. The default normal mod will have a maximum gear score limit set to 25. Uh, which is whatever, basically restricting players to mostly common great gear. This default matchmaking pool should feel like the previous gear restricted normals mod from before. The normal mod from before was the normal mod without any gear, and now it's gonna be either the best cheese or absolutely freaking nothing, and I don't think this idea is any good, but I'd say let the Iron Mace cook. Players with higher gear will be matched into a separate matchmaking pool, where almost everything goes. We expect the addition of this matchmaking pool will help the normal match feel similar. Uh, I don't even want to read the rest because it's just... It's not even worth it. Anyway, with all due respect, I love Iron Maze, but um, basically, originally, this legendary, talented group of people had a awesome idea in mind about where the idea should go. But every time there is a vocal minority, Basically, this vocal minority controls the game so freaking hard and basically controls the direction where the game should go instead of letting the devs cook. Because even though originally developers said that they have a clear vision in mind and they're going to cook the way they wanted to cook, they ended up following the... Um, upset vocal group of people who were screaming their lungs out in a general chat by telling things that they're not happy about. So Iron Maze tried to fix each and every issue, which uh, maybe it's not a bad idea, but it's definitely not a good idea in the long run, because if you don't have a clear vision for the future of your game by simply following the lead and command of people who are just gonna dip on your game like within just a matter of time, the moment the new game come out, but that's it. Armace, you need to understand. The moment you start to appeal to every single group of players in the game, to all the vocal minorities in the game, we're gonna run into a trouble, into a trouble of missing out on this direction where the game should actually go and that's the biggest issue you can come up with because once the game lose the direction the sense of direction that's when the game becomes bland because currently this new patch this new wipe feels bland as shit it's boring it's unrewarding the damage doesn't feel good the stats doesn't feel right every class feels weak everything feels like ass i don't know man i'm gonna be honest like we already been over this we already nerfed the the history repeats itself the damage was fixed the stats was nerfed like everything was bland already we had wipes with little to no people we had like yes i don't know man i don't even know because right now the current wipe whatever you experience right now is bland as fuck like, there is no excitement, there is a lot less excitement. And don't get me wrong, I'm not burned out. I'm just saying the gear right now fucking suck ass, man. Like, anyway. And yeah, the gear, the gear is basically the most enjoyable part of this game. I would say with this, the video comes to an end. It's demo. I love Dark and Darker, I love devs, I love what they do. But the decision they come out was... It's just not a good decision because you can't be controlled by the vocal upset minority of people who's gonna dip on your game no matter what you do. Instead, you should have a clear vision on what is your next step should be in order to improve the game for the majority of the people. Anyway, it's Demo. I'll see you in a dungeon and I hope you have a wonderful day.